but what actually is success? And that, folks, is what I'm going to be talking about today. If you're wondering, you know, what this whole video is going to be about, um, well, to tell you the truth, it's just me rambling. Um, recently, I've wanted to do, you know, things that make me happy and, you know, more expressive of myself. And one of my best ways of expressing myself is through rambling. Um, and if you watch my stream, if you know me at all, then, you know, I ramble a lot. I can go on about any topic. Anything I have a strong opinion on, I can just go off. Even if I don't have a strong opinion, sometimes my little peanut brain will just go on for hours about a simple topic. And so that's why I chose, you know, the first topic is, I don't know if this is going to be a series. I don't know what this is going to be. But I think I'd like to do this more often. Um, I think I'd like to do these little rambles, you know, occasionally. Um, so I guess I might, might as well say this, but uh, if you guys have, like, you know, any things that you want to hear my opinion on or you want to hear me talk about, um, or any questions or things like that, you know, just you just, just put them in the comments. You can just, just, drop, just drop them down below. I'll probably answer them. Um, let's see, but the topic of, oh yeah, I should probably prefer, like, you know, say this beforehand. Um, I am still sick. Allergies have absolutely kicked me down this season. Spring was like, hey, you, you got allergies? We're gonna smite you down. That's what they did. I'm sick. So I got my water, I got my monster, and, um, uh, here we go. What is success? Monster. Ultra Fiesta flavor. Pretty good. Kind of sweet, though. Tastes like cocaine. Um, anyways. But what actually is success? And that's what I want to talk about. Um, and you may be wondering, well, Odie, you have such a small channel, you know? Why would you want to talk about success? And that's the exact reason why I want to talk about success. Because when people think of success... They think of, you know, these rich people who, you know, maybe started their own businesses. People like that. They think of those people and like, wow, those people are the face of success. Or, you know, maybe Twitch streamers that have millions of followers. Um, you know, people look at them and think, wow, they are the, they are the peaks, you know, of success. Those people, they are, they are successful people. And yeah, they are successful people. They, you know, of course they are millions of followers, they, they make in bank, you know, that, that is success, but I don't think, you know, I don't think that is the entirety of success. You know, success, it's, it's really is, it's, it's subjective to pretty much everyone, you know, everyone has their own form of success. Everyone's, you know, form of success, it's, um, it's different. You know, like I said, it's subjective. Success can be, whatever people want it to be, but I think people, you know, when they think of it, they aim too high, and that actually reminds me of, um, when I was in middle school, anyone who, you know, went to the same middle school as me, they'd probably know what I'm talking about, uh, I don't know if they remember it, but they probably would, um, you probably remember this, they were called smart goals, and, um, uh, one second, No, I gotta cut that out. But, um, they taught us something called SMART goals. And I don't, I think, you know, it was supposed to be an acronym for something, you know, I'm pretty sure each letter of SMART was supposed to stand for something, but, of course, I, I don't remember that. So, you know, um, I can't really tell you what it means, but the point of these SMART goals were for us to, you know, they were to help us, they were little goals that we were supposed to set for ourselves that were supposed to help us achieve, achieve bigger goals, you know? Things like getting A's in all of my classes, or making lots of money, being rich, you know? Um, because, you know, I think people, when they think of success, they think too high. You know, they think you have to be this super smart, rich person to be successful, when in reality, that's not what success is. You know, well, of course, it, it can be success, but I don't think that's all success should be. You know, 
I think su success should be getting out of bed in the morning when you weren't able to for the past week. I think success should be turning in a late assignment because, you know, you couldn't really do it in the moment. I think success should, you know, be the smaller things in life, you know? I think that should be, you know, what people think when they think success. Because, you know, when you have these higher goals, you're most likely going to get let down by them. Because, you know, as a smaller channel and a content creator, um, numbers destroy you. When you look at the numbers, that's the thing that kind of destroys you most, you know? When you, um, you know, when you start paying attention to only the numbers instead of, you know, what you actually enjoy doing, it, it ruins you, you know? You get too focused in the numbers, then you're like, why am I even doing this anymore? And you lose motivation for content creating, and that's, I'm pretty sure if you ask most content creators, they can tell you that they've, what that's what they've struggled with, you know? And I, um, I've seen clips of a lot of, you know, even bigger creators saying that that's, you know, something they struggle with, and I know I'm a smaller channel, but it's also something I've definitely struggled with, too. Um, you know, for example, a little bit ago, I, um, uh, I got, you know, a bunch of people just, you know, started to support my stream at once, and it was like, I was like, wow, this is amazing, and I got, like, you know, 15 people, like, watching my stream, you know, for, like, an entire week, and I'm like, wow, I, I can't believe this, like, where are all these numbers coming from? Like, this is incredible, you know? Like, I can't believe this, and then, you know, the viewers started to fall off a little bit, and... I couldn't help but think, what, like, what was I doing wrong? Like, what was going wrong? Like, what can I do to, you know, to fix this? And in reality, you, you can't really change the numbers very much, you know? Um, and it took me a little bit to realize that I just need to focus on the enjoyment, you know, the fun of content creating, because it is a lot of fun. You know, I've had a lot of fun uh, ever since I started posting on YouTube getting back into streaming more. It's, it's been a, a lot of fun, and it really is. It's something I, I do enjoy doing. Um, you know, am I ever gonna quote-unquote make it as a streamer or as a content creator? I don't know. That's not, you know, that's not where my priority should be. My priority should be in the moment, you know, thinking about what I'm doing now. And, you know, um, oftentimes you'll see streamers set, you know, little follower goals and things like that. Um, and, you know, reaching those follower goals, that's that's my little form of success, you know? You don't have to have a million followers on Twitch to be successful, you know? You can reach the little small goals, you know? Like, reaching affiliate, getting that 50 followers to reach affiliate, that is an amazing success for people, you know? Like, I remember the first time I hit affiliate, which was, I think, <laughs> like a couple years ago, actually, like maybe like a year or two ago, and... I was so excited, and then, you know, my friends would, they would subscribe for the first time, and it just, it made me so happy, you know? Hitting affiliate was one of my greatest successes, you know? I was never really a consistent streamer up until maybe January, maybe-ish. Um, you know, I've never been the most consistent person, but um, when I do hit these little, little, these little goals, you know, they make me really happy. Um, I reached 200 followers last month, and I was, I was absolutely overjoyed. Um, I, it was insane. I, I couldn't believe it, you know? Um, it was great. But, you know, going back to that, people should focus on the smaller things, you know? People should focus on the smaller things to be their goals and to consider success. So, you know, like, let's take an example, like getting all A pluses. That sounds a little bit overwhelming, you know? It sounds really overwhelming, and people, you know, shoot, yeah, I'll cut this out, whatever, but, um, in order to reach that goal at some point, you know, in order to be successful in that way, you need to set the smaller goals first, the smaller successes, so, you know, for example, maybe, you know, wanting to study for like 30 minutes a night, you know, and if you do, you know, follow through with that, then that's success in itself, you know, setting a goal and accomplishing it and, you know, setting something like, you know, setting a routine schedule, 
uh, doing things for yourself that's going to benefit, you know, yourself, that's, that's a success. That's definitely a success. Um, I know for me, I think back in like February, um, I wanted to get in a healthier schedule. So I started going to the gym like three times a week and that was my own success. You know, like after the first time, I think the first week, um, I started, you know, doing that. I'm like, wow, this is great. Like, I feel so, I feel, I feel great after doing this. I feel so successful, you know? Um, and like I said, success is subjective to everyone. And while people are, you know, definitely still going to aim for those higher goals, I think people first need to stop and think about the smaller things first, because in the end, I think the smaller things matter more than the big ones, because the smaller successes you have in life are, they're going to lead you to the bigger ones, you know? Because eventually when you put all that time in studying, all those, you know, hours of studying, doing work, things like that, you're eventually going to, you know, hopefully, hopefully, you'd eventually read your goal, like, you know, hit your goal. And the most important part would be the successes you had along the way. Because, of course, the end of the quest is nothing without the journey that you had. And I will leave you with those words of wisdom. And if you watch this entire thing, I thank you so much. Um, my thoughts are really disorganized, and I know this video is really disorganized, and I really apologize about that. And there are probably some moments in there that I'm like, oh, I'm going to cut this out. Um, newsflash, I probably didn't cut them out, because um, I'm probably too lazy. And there probably will be very minimal editing for this, because I want this to be more laid back. I want this to be something, you know, I have fun with. Um... So, you know, I hope you guys are able to take something away from this. That's kind of what I hope. I don't want this to be, you know, a self-help, self-help video because, oh God, I don't, I really don't want this to be a self-help video. That is not what I'm trying, uh, <laughs> not what I'm trying to make this. Um, I just want this to be, you know, me rambling about things that I feel strongly about or, you know, even if I don't feel strongly about. Um, like I said this earlier, if you guys have any questions, any things you want me to talk about, or... I don't- I wouldn't say this is, like, advice giving, but, you know, if there's something that you want to, you know, hear my take on, I guess, um, then feel free to, you know, comment that stuff. Uh, I don't know how frequently I'll be doing this. Kind of depends what, um, you know, what I feel, how I feel about this. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk about um, absolute nothingness for, um, like, what, like, almost, like, 15 minutes, but, yeah, I hope this wasn't too rambly, uh, I know this has been a long intro, but I kind of just, you know, this is the first video for, in this possible series, so kind of got to get, you know, everything down, but, um, I appreciate you guys listening, and I hope you have a good day.